In this video we're going to look at a price ceiling. We're going to use this diagram of a market with a supply and demand for a product given an equilibrium price and quantity. If you're not sure how all of that works you should watch the videos on supply, on demand and on equilibrium. The market forces will lead to an equilibrium price in this model of P1. By putting in a price ceiling, what we're going to do is to stop the price from reaching that level. So we're going to keep the price lower than P1. For example, at this level here. So the intention is to keep the price at a lower price at PC, the price of the ceiling, rather than at P1. Some people will get confused here and they'll think, shouldn't this be a price ceiling? and then they would think that this would be a price ceiling and this would be a price floor. But what's actually happening is that the price wants to move to equilibrium. So it wants to move from this PC level through this level up until the equilibrium price. But there is going to be this ceiling put into place that is going to stop the price from rising to that level. An example of a price ceiling would be in a situation where we have rent control, uh, where there is a method to keep the rental level of, uh, of housing low so that it's more affordable for people. If a price ceiling is put into place, because the price is so low, consumers of that product will want more of it. And so at that, at that price, they will demand Q2. Because that price is so low, however, the producers of that product or the suppliers of that product, they won't want to supply as much. And so they will only supply this level here of Q3. And what we have in this situation is an excess in demand. So this is how much is being supplied. This is how much is being demanded. And so this distance here which is the same as Q3 to Q2, is an excess in demand for the product. Because it's so cheap, more people want to buy the product uh, than what that product is available. So in a situation where we have a rent control, uh, where we have uh, a government intervening to make housing more affordable, we'll have a lot more people wanting to move into those, uh, those houses than they have houses available. So putting a price ceiling in, in place uh, is helpful for consumers because it keeps prices lower, but it is going to lead to shortages of the product that's being uh, bought and sold in this market. 